Hey guys, welcome back to Pokey Oracle and today we're going to be opening up these little Pokemon Petite Fleur collectibles. They are super cute. I've seen them before and I'm excited to get into these. So let's go. All right, so here today we have the little Petite Fleur seasonal flowers. This is set six and I have been waiting to get these for a very long time. I actually ordered these in April and forgot about them until about yesterday when I received them in the mail. I wanted to open them up for you guys to see what you think. And since I've seen a couple other Pokemon channels open up some of these, I have wanted to collect them for a very, very long time. And I also want to unbox them and glue them in place because you actually have to assemble them yourselves, which I think is totally cute and makes it a little bit more personable. Personable? Personable. Big words. So right here I have um, just some paper towels and some crazy glue or nail glue. Either one works. I'm just worried that they're going to pop out of like the little socket you have to stick them in and I, I just don't want that to happen. It's, ah, breaking the seal is so satisfying. Open this up for you. La. Oh god, I hope they're not all Pikachu. Let's start with this one. Looks like we have Lapras today. Laplace. Oh, so fancy. How about Utachi, Glacia, Pikachu and Cherim. No change there. And then we also have uh, Kiriana and Mizu Mizugoro. <laughs> Bad break that seal. I do want to apologize for the setup being a little different today. Here's that little piece of gum it always comes with. And then, oh no, we got this little guy. For some reason, I thought we were getting Lapras. That's okay. We have, what is it? Utachi. I really hope we get the full set. There's a little label that we can put on the bottom. So let's open these up and it may look assembled already but as you can see he's actually in plat like wrapped in plastic so we're gonna have to assemble that ourselves okay so let's start to assemble so you screw off the top yep or just pop it off actually not even a screw and then this is almost like a little washer like a little seal and then we just pop her open oh cute so oh this actually comes out oh that's neat so you can like clean it and dust it if needed already looks like the little flowers and leaves are popped in so then we unwrap this little guy so sweet so cute and then there's the little hole that it sticks into looks like it sticks in to this little prong right here so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put I'm actually I want a bit I want to see how it all fits in there. So it wedges in there pretty good. Ooh. Wedge it. Fit it. There we go. Oh, it's adorable. Isn't it cute? So to ensure it's secureness because it's just how I am. I'm actually going to put a little bit of glue in the hole and stick them on. All done with this little guy. So we just assemble the top back on. Put the little washer back on. The little ring. The sealer. Actually this is the sealer. And then what you want to do, so it's the number of the Pokemon with the name little sticker Ooh. you take it off and you actually adhere it to the bottom and then you put on the top Ooh. 
complete and adorable. Hmm. Let's see who else we have here. Have you guys gotten these yet? Has anybody else pre-ordered these little perfumey dealy bobs? Oh, Glaceon. Super sweet. So you have the little bow. It kind of pops off. And then we have Glaceon in there. So we'll take off the little ring. Pop that off. Oh, and her flowers are so pretty. Super cute. And this comes out too, which is nice. There's the little hole in the bum bum. And then there's her little label we're gonna stick on. Boop. It's probably one of the girliest things I own. <laughs> A lot of the stuff I like and enjoy and collect are, there we go, we're just gonna put this on. Our black butler, oops, upside down bow genius. Our black butler figurines. I also have like K poppy kind of stuff. There she is, complete. What do you guys collect? What do you enjoy collecting? Hmm. I'm actually really happy these don't come with perfume because, oh my gosh. Oh, we got little Pikachu, star of the show. Here's the Pikachu and Cherim. I love the little cherry blossoms. Super sweet. Yeah, but how many of you guys have been to Japan? Let me know because I've been once and it was so much fun. My little channel bubble icon is actually when I was in Japan and it was during cherry blossom season and it was so pretty. Oh my gosh. It was one of my absolute favorite trips and it was a dream come true because I always, always, always wanted to go to Japan ever since I was little. I really enjoy the fact that they show the numbers of the Pokemon and then also the name. So here we go. We're going to stick this on. Probably about there. So how have you guys been? Anything new going on in life? Let's go for the fourth Widow Boy Race. Cute little boy race. By the way, if you hear snoring in the background, that is one of the dogs. <laughs> Let's see. I've got a little rose. Ooh, super cute. Yeah, so how many of you guys have been to Japan? What did you do? What was your favorite things going on? What season did you go in? How was it? Was it hot? Was it cold? Was What part of Japan did you go to? Oh, these are so sweet. Took a little bit of a convincing, but like I said, sometimes these don't stick very well or, you know, the little stands in the back don't puncture very well. So I like to use that glue for reasons such as this. This one was a little more difficult to get in. Right about there. Super sweet. I'm not really a fan of the color of the rose. The rose color looks a little me. Might look a little better on camera. Alrighty, second to the last. Mudkip or Lapras? Who's it gonna be? We got Lapras. So here's a little Lapras. She looks happy. And then the little flowers. Now she looks pretty. We'll keep her there and then let's put her together like so. Here's the little sticker. Boop. There you go, Lapras. Adorable. Super duper adorable. 
All right, so last one. Looks like it's gonna be Mudkip. Now, I've been curious about this one because two oh, of my favorite flowers are hydrangeas and cherry blossoms. And this guy, he has hydrangeas. There's the flowers. Oh, those are sweet. And there's little Mudkip. We have completed these little guys. Here are the six. They're so sweet and so adorable. Now, I know this isn't like a normal video as far as opening up Pokemon cards. So, in light of that, so we're just gonna do a few random sleeves. I have two Vivid Voltage and Sword and Shield and a Chilling Rain pack. So let's get into these. Let's start with the Fat Pikachu. Now I've pulled a Rainbow Pikachu in the past. It was amazing. <laughs> so we have a Nikara, a Puccina, a Rockruff, a Skiddo, Blitzel, a Reverse Flareon. Oh my God. We have a fat Pikachu. That's so great. Oh, you know what? And I actually forgot to like put the three in front, but I am so happy we got him. Oh, let's see what else we got. We got Charmeleon, Telescope Sight, and a little code for y'all. Let's do a Vivid Voltage. I just want to get through these real quick. Maybe. All right, so here is the code for you. Put these in the front. Oh, and you know what? We're not gonna play the, uh, the little game this time just because today's video was a little bit different. So we have a drizzle, ordinary rod, bed or bidet, sizzlepeed, wooloo, grookey, Sobble, Rhyhorn, a Reverse Clawable Pulse, and a regular Cloister. A whole lot of nothing. Alright, we'll go back to Vivid Voltage. I'd love to get a another Pikachu, but that's okay. Here's the code for you guys three here, get rid of that energy. Then we got Zebstrika, Beauty, Puccina, Rockra, Flitzel, Skiddo. Ooh, got those two guys, Mud Horse. <laughs> and then a regular old Vaporeon. Nothing in that guy. It's all right, we still got that Pikachu. Okay, and now last but not least, Chilling Rain. Chilling rain. Mm -hmm. Looks like we might not get much. Ooh, these edges are hard, man. Wonder if uh, the factories are having a little bit of a hard time, you know, not only printing cards, but keeping the quality great. Sobble, Lediba, Squovet, Crab Crawler, a reverse scroll, and whole lot of nothing on that Doug Drio. So that completes today's little video. I hope you enjoyed. I know it's something different, not really the Pokemon, not really the whole card Dealy Bob today, but I thought it might be nice just to see what other Pokemon things there are in the world. I never knew these existed until I started doing all this Pokemon fun stuff. And we got this little free at Barbies. And yeah, let me know if you enjoyed this. I have a couple more I can open. Figure might as well. 